Afternoon guys. How's everybody doing? Busy day today. We've had, I've had 11 saws going today. And so I'm going to do a brief video for a couple of guys which are I'm posting to directly. A couple of really interesting saws as well which if I had had a little bit more time I would have done a video overview in the workshop just to show how unique they are. Mike, how the devil are you? Where should we start, Mike? So, a few of you that look at old saws will instantly recognize this really unusual shape. Top handle, very short grip stance between the front handle and the rear handle, touch of thumbs, really short, just like a top handle, and quite unusual as well. This is the Pioneer, the Pioneer 450 in the green and yellow, and this model, really interesting, this model, now called the 450, started life actually in the late 50s as the Pioneer 400, and then there was a a very unusual move by the company something similar anybody know out there why did Pioneer change the part numbers on their first saw from 1958 so really beautiful um, design saw and not very long-lived 89 cc's what are these they are uh, 57 35 so came from the same guy over 30 years Mike and nothing's been taken off the saw. I picked it up with the guide bar exactly as you see it and it's just had this new old stock cap um, no disassembly and pause with we've got a slightly tired recoil spring because it's just not been taken apart but has really really good compression and I think it's going to be an amazing amazing piece for your workshop or if you restore so that's the gorgeous Pioneer 450, but anybody out there knows why the, the initial model, there was a change of model designation between the first model in 58, and by the time they got to the mid 60s, um, they'd done two name changes. So there's the 450, absolute beauty. Um, okay, Thomas. I'm a bit late posting, Thomas, my apologies. So you bought the little Husky 36 project saw. Again, it's just been hung up, absolutely zero disassembly, and hopefully a great spares part saw, maybe a great parts uh, or project saw. So let me show you how she runs. It actually runs, choke. Okay, choke off. There and there. Oh, it did run. Okay. She's got that tiny hesitation if you pull straight away, just like she's starving of fuel. So, has really good, good compression. Let me know how you get on. A really lovely little, um, a very lovely little garden saw. So nice to work on as well. Thomas, love to hear how you get on with the 136. Oh, Mike, so, you've got a few beautiful saws, Mike, for your which date, well, predominantly, although that one started in the late 50s, they're all in the 60s then. So this one, really underrated saw. Again, this one has been untouched for, she's just been on display for nearly five years, maybe a bit more. So this is the gorgeous Solo, Heinz and Hans Emmerich, started Solo back in 47, 48. 
and this is one of the 60126s with their some people think the colour schemes are garish, absolutely love them. The red pull start, this yellow teardrop casing in the blue lid, composite use. So these were from early 60s, 70cc, and still has the importer's brass plate, Mitok Engineering, who imported them from Solo officially. Um, all mag alloy silencer, the wrap is beautiful, both the felling spikes. Um, so nothing's been done to it and I've just pulled it out of the workshop and there's no fuel in it so I presume it must have some old long life fuel. When I've pulled it, I want to chill. She instantly fires. It's absolutely bizarre. I don't think there's anything in the tank. So Mike, that's the gorgeous Solo 070. Hope you love that saw Mike. They're just works of art. The use of composites in the dime in the 60s, aluminium shroud, this little button with the spring attachment which clicks the lid on and then the lid is quick release on a pin. They're just amazing saws. Hope you love the 070 Mike. Well the 60, 60126, I'm jumping the gun and then you've got another variation of the 07. So the original 07, 61, then the crossover for the 07S, 65, and it's really interesting. There's a few interesting model differences and designations from silencer changes to full start housing design changes. Real just, when you look at them from a distance, they look the same, but you get up close and you think, that's completely different. And this girl then, absolutely genuinely, this girl, has been on the shelf for, it's gotta be again, three to four years. Just one of my show ones, display ones, display. You know, she's not immaculately clean for show. Um, completely untouched. Haven't had the fuel filter out of it, haven't touched the car in years, genuinely. And I've just put some fuel in her. And I thought, well, I know she was a runner. <laughs> Genuinely, I haven't changed the fuel filter, <laughs> haven't touched the carburetor. This is genuinely, that's just come off the shelf. And what engineering, isn't it? So you think if this is one of the, I'm thinking this is one of the very early 1965 saws just because of the shape of the silencer, the shape of the pull start housing. And nearly 60 years later, and this is how she runs. After years of just not even looking at her, I haven't even changed the plug. So it's just, let me show her again on a restart, just a thing of beauty. This version is with the toggle switch as opposed to the momentary kill switch and all mag alloy, mag alloy cover, just a thing of beauty. <laughs> So there's a couple of other ones out here. A few of you eagle-eyed people won't be noticed, which is the, the spectacular MS 200s, amazing. But I'm unsure about letting that go now. And uh, the Dolmar, which again I may decide not to let that go. In fact, so uh, <laughs> that's one of the Dolmar 6400s. Just amazing saws. And I'm tempted to want to run the, the 200T if I do let it go against one of my other top handle steel saws which predates that by a number of years and really overlooked which is the a lot of you will know from 1980 they had the 009 chassis the 3636 36 cc and then in that same chassis you had the 9 10 11 and a 12 and one of the really overlooked models is the, the 011 avt which is 
she is, she is the same bore as the, or same um, stroke as the 09, 10, etc. But it's just a slightly bored out version, so 41 cc's, but the top handle version with the full AV mount. So that would be really interesting running that as a head-to-head -head with the with the MS 200. Right, guys. Uh, Thomas, Mike, hope you love the saws. Take care, guys. Bye for now.